You're very welcome back. Now, Kevin McGahan is no stranger to fans of fresh Irish comedy, from fronting the much-missed Republic of Telly to his own successful stand-up shows. And now the proud son of Breffney is starring in what could be Kevin's first celluloid western. No party for Billy Burns. Let's take a clip. I suppose you've heard about the bees, huh? Oh, the bees, they're dying. <clears throat> huh? Should they're always dying? No, but the uh, uh, North American bees, they're dying out. They're not pollinating anymore, so... There's going to be no more honey. It'd be fairly important, you see, because... to say if the bees go instinct, then the whole animals of the world will go in instinct as well. That's to say, I know. Jesus. Kevin, that yes. is brilliant because when I heard you were in a movie, I thought it, you know people would be looking at well, that's Kevin McGahern from Republic of Teddy, wisecracking, you know, making jokes and all that. But like that's a completely different character, a completely different personality to have to inhabit. I don't know, is it? Like it's um, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it is a tragic comedy, um, and the lines between sad and funny are sometimes very blurred. So. Yeah. It didn't feel that different to play it. I was kind of playing it for laughs the whole time. <laughs> Tell us about, about the character and the premise and the plot. Um, it's called No Party for Billy Burns. It's, uh, I played the titular character, Billy, who's a, sort of a simple country lad who's obsessed with cowboy films a little bit too much. He's living with his um, eccentric grandfather in a small town in Cavan. And kind of the, the trouble that goes with being a little bit different in a, in a small town in the country, you know? So it shines a light on, on younger people, I suppose, growing up in, in a rural town, first of all, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, like, I mean, like, where we grew up, um, when we got out of college, it was suddenly, like, there's no jobs, and mm. all the women left immediately. <laughs> <laughs> They're the first time. So, yeah, so you've got, like, just a town full of lads who are a little bit frustrated and yeah. trying to find some sort of outlet, you know, for boredom. And, uh, yeah, you do all kinds of silly things, like race guards and getting fights outside chippers and that kind of thing. So, um, so Billy Burns is not necessarily an autobiogra autobiographical character for you, but it's it's <laughs> it's semi. It's, it's one semi. that a lot of people would relate to. Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, yeah, definitely. I think if you're yeah, if you're a little bit odd growing up in the country, you'll you'll relate to it. You know. Mm. Where does uh, acting fit in with you now? In terms of is, is it is it alongside stand up and alongside comedy, or is this it? Now? Um, yeah, like I was always kind of um, doing plays and stuff like that and sketches, so. It was always kind of around in the realm of comedy. I, like, I love acting. I think acting's great crack. Um, so I've always kind of been doing a bit of it, kind of flitting between stand-up and uh, acting, you know? But I think movies is probably where your your passion is, is that I know you've got gigs coming up. We'll talk about those in a moment, the, Vo the Vodafone Comedy Club and yeah. all of that stuff. But is movies, and particularly after shooting this yeah. and working on it and realising how it can impact on people, well, myself and the, the writer-director, Pori Connerty, we kind of, we met working in a factory in our local town and just bonded over a love of films. Mm. And that's, we just talked about films all the time. So, um, yeah, I would be very passionate for films, yeah. And, and the, the thing about, we're going to be talking to the director and one of the stars of Pilgrimage, another new Irish oh, yeah. movie, which is also in the Galway it's film. It's not as good as our, <laughs> I heard. Not, that's not what as I heard. good. Yeah, Maybe yeah. go and see uh, Second Billy, best. Second Billy best. Burns first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, have enough, and then go. if you have an extra tenor, have a look at that other film. But it's the, 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 the cinematography of that one, it makes Ireland look different, look sort of cinematic and, and mm. spectacular. And already, even in the little clips that you can see from the trailer there, it looks cool. It looks, it's got that, that sort of Western feel. Well, it does, and that's why, like... So many people in the country are obsessed with cowboy films mm. uh, is because it kind of romanticizes uh, farming and like the the landscape of Ireland is it's just so rugged and cinematic and rough and stony grey soils of Monaghan, you know, it, it looks great on camera, you know. I think it's the kind of footage when you're away. I know a friend of mine lives in, only in the UK, but when she sees a yeah. film like this, even a trailer... It's a single tear. Like, yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> it's just that draw for home, yeah. you know. It just has a look, doesn't it? Definitely, yeah. Of home. Tell us about the Republic of Telly, because um, it's gone, but obviously that's what a lot of viewers this morning will know you from. Yeah, As well yeah, as a strand of, of documentaries, of course, for, for RTE. But I always wondered, and I really enjoyed it, when the Republic of Telly was funny, it was really 
really funny. Yeah. Um, did you really offend people? Did you did you really upset certain personalities? Because <laughs> oh, like, yeah. I always thought it was quite <laughs> flattering if you were included in it. Did you know? the powers of be just like put, yeah. a, put an axe in it? No, I don't <laughs> think so. I think most people are kind of, especially in Irish media, you're kind of delighted to be totally mm. because yeah, if you can take a joke, then you're you know the coolest guy in the room. You know, nobody likes somebody who loses the rag. So, um, yeah, that Oscar Wilde quote, the only thing worse than been talked about has not been talked it's about. It's not been talked about, yeah. So, no, I, I don't think I ever really, maybe once or twice, Blonda tried to hit me with her car once. <laughs> <laughs> But I think that was, By just, accident, yeah. that was just a Monday morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> it seemed to me, um, Kevin, that public of telly at its peak was a sort of a zeitgeist thing because it was yeah. sort of snarky, it was smart uh, it was had that social media aspect with the spin off videos. It, it seemed to hit a, a real nerve, um, which I mean, I'm not, not second guessing why RT had to make the decision to take it off there, but did you feel that working on it? That Kevin's this wages, is, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Kevin's <laughs> lifestyle. I wanted an extra cup, and they were like, no, <laughs> get out. Um, yeah, it was yeah, it was kinda of like the, the, the lad at the back of the classroom who's just making fun of the teacher the whole time. Yeah. You did feel like the naughty boy in RTE, yeah. which is the lamest place to be a naughty boy. <laughs> um but yeah, yeah, I suppose it uh it had it it, it was of its time and place, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm talking like it's like yeah, 1970s yeah. TV shows. It was like different back then. A year know. ago, two years ago. It was a different get away with a lot more. But as well as that, uh, so many other things were born from it, like the likes of Bridget and Eamon. Yeah, Bridget and Eamon and Damon Ivor and um, there's a couple of other ones. Uh, yeah, Rubber Bandits. Rubber Bandits, yeah, well, through. they were going to be massive yeah. anyway. But um, Horse Outside, I suppose, came Horse from Horse Outside that. was one of the skits, that wasn't was it? That was one of their, yeah, yeah. That was one of their kind of music videos came from that. Which was huge, So, wasn't yeah, it was, it yeah. was good as a sort of a stage for, for new talent and this kind of uh, incubation chamber. Um, so I don't know what's going to replace it. Hopefully that there'll be something else where young people can... Uh, show off their funnies. Get an opportunity, yeah. Show off their funnies. You, you obviously are actor, stroke stand up, and also documentarian, if that's a thing. Yeah, we'll uh, try you'd... poetry next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. A fantastic series uh, in the States uh, la last year. And you had this sort of moment in time thing again of being in the US in the year of Trump, in the year yeah. when all that was bubbling up. Uh, did you realize something incredibly bizarre was happening? Yeah, I definitely noticed. Like, it's obviously easy to talk in hindsight, but. Um, I definitely noticed like the news was not reflecting what the majority of people mm. felt. Um, Cause obviously like in New York and San Francisco, the big cities, everyone's very liberal. Everyone's very, oh, Hillary Clinton. But in the, the rest of the country was just, I didn't meet one person who supported Hillary Clinton. Mm. The closest I came was uh, a waitress in Portland who said, yeah, I probably will just cause I hate Trump so much. But everyone was mad into Trump. It was uh, it was a little bit frightening. They just wanted to change so much that they would vote for this you crazy know, man, this, this crazy pig's bladder clown. You know. Yeah, but it was a brilliant time in the build-up, wasn't it? Yeah. To be doing something like oh, that yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. It was like even even going back now, they, those shows would have been completely different. Mm. You know. Yeah, it's, yeah. Is that something we can expect to do a follow-up? If TV3 has the cash, <laughs> <laughs> I will chat to any American. He's very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Suitcases for me. Is it camera two? Yeah. Yeah. TV3, can you get a close? Do Sorry, a plea. Actually, not that close. Anyway, <laughs> this is early. Before you become TV3's Louis Theroux, uh, yeah. give us just a reminder then in terms of Pretty no pie for well. Billy Burns. <laughs> um, Galway Film Fla. That's yeah. next premiere. week, isn't it? Next week, uh, it's, it's sold out like immediately. So we're hoping for like a Dublin premiere uh, soon. We see how Galway goes, but 13th in Galway, yeah. Uh, next Wednesday. Kevin, wish you all the best with it. Thank you very much, guys. It looks brilliant. Thanks for coming.